Hello everyone. So welcome to my channel. This is Shruti Avja. In this video, we are going to talk about how to study histology. And uh, here we are going to talk about uh, some basic tips uh, which will help you if you have started studying histology or you still have to start. But if uh, you will just follow these few tips this will help you uh, till your like last final exams and uh, make histology uh, an interesting subject rather than a boring one so first of all uh, let's like learn by making diagrams many times we just skip on making diagrams and we think this is a waste of time but no it helps to like understand and identify the structures many times we are not able to understand like uh, what is the importance of that like blue and pink colors in the like diagrams right and slides so here we can see the like the nucleus is in blue color the cytoplasm is in pink color the matrix is in pink color so every uh, and we can also see here if i zoom it uh, like they are flattened surfaces in these cells this is basically hyaline cartilage if you have earned uh, like learned about connective tissue you must know this and uh, like this is a diagram of the same here you can compare this is the like uh, fibrous perichondrium this is cellular perichondrium and this is like the interterritorial uh, matrix and this is the territorial matrix and this is like we can see the cells and we have flattened surfaces May, like uh, here uh, like a normal student may draw like a cell like this and this chondrocytes right but if you will draw like this like flattened surfaces then that is more like correct and more like the the normal or we can say uh, the real one okay so if we understand what is the cell structure say shape and how should we draw that uh, these things if we keep in mind then we can like it will be a great help and uh, it will help us to understand the subject make it meaningful next is don't cram don't think that we have just to pass the exam just get some good marks it is said that histology is very much scoring but if you make it interesting for you if you like follow it if you uh, love it then only it is uh, like scoring you the, yes you can get full marks in astrology but if you make it uh, interesting for you if you cram then not at all now, now if you score like good in part test or exam it will cost you your like your concept if you like uh, cram and uh, score marks right because you have to study pathology in the second year and for that you must know the normal that is the histology right next is now the basic concepts like cytoplasm is pink in color the proteins are pink in color the nucleus is purple in him like with hematoxylin as i sh uh, have shown you in the diagram above also now these this will help you identify the structures many times we draw a uh, like a uh, cell with blue color right a purple color then that is totally wrong and we expect that we should get marks no it is not so and a diagram should look presentable as i have shown you this diagram this is very much presentable and like appealing to the eyes so that should be a factor right next is uh, then try to understand the basic morphology of the structures like here you can see they are folded structures so these are mucosal folds and uh, like if there is no mucosal fold i can suggest it is something related to uh, some organ right here so it is the lamina propria this is the here a umbrella shaped cell i hope you can see uh, these are shells of like an umbrella uh, open shaped so this is transitional epithelium and if i draw this i will draw it like a like curved surface that is an umbrella shaped cell so these are polygonal cells like basal cuboidal layer is there and this is basically what we need to find in the diagrams and uh, like the slides and draw it in the diagram and if we draw that uh, like what is actually there in the slide and understand it with the help of a diagram then it is very easy to do histology and it is just a piece of cake for us next is final advice the practice the diagrams as much as you can personally i also practice the diagrams many times before the exam um, and do it in your extra time and take it as a fun activity just as drawing activity okay so and uh, as an additional tip you can use Stedler pencil instead of sub apsara pencils because uh, uh, like apsara pencil has light light in color little light in color and Stedler, uh you can it will give you very vibrant color to your diagrams and that actually looks more appealing okay 
so this was all about histology at last i will also suggest you to use uh, balakrishnati uh, balakrishnan shetty manual that is of histology you can find it on the libgen as well as uh, the telegram group um, and that has very like beautiful diagrams like these and many times we draw uh, like uh, wrong diagrams but it has all correct diagrams and uh, verified as well so um, i hope all these tips would help you a lot lastly don't be afraid of histology it is a very nice subject and uh, if we take interest in it then it will be your best friend so if you like this video and if it helped you uh, to some extent then do like it and share it with your friends because sharing is caring